Alright guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving the first question from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this one we have the force F that has a magnitude of 800 newtons. We need to express force F as a vector in terms of the unit vectors I and J. And we need to identify the X and Y scalar components of the force F. So if we look at this, uh, the F would be resultant of these two forces. So if you consider this rectangle in here, if you use the parallelogram law, the resultant of these two forces, we can call one of them Fx and the other one Fy is going to be the force F or the 800 newtons that we have. So basically we need to dissolve these two, uh, the F into these two forces, knowing that this angle right here is 35 degrees. So what we're going to do is that if this side is fx, this side in here should be fx too. And I'm going to highlight the right triangle that we see in here, which is this one. And all we need to do in here for finding fx and fy is going by the definition of sine and cosine. That way we can get these two sides that we are looking for. So as I mentioned, this is also fx. So if we just look at that right triangle, regardless of the direction for sine of 35 degrees we're going to have the opposite of 35 degrees which would be this side so our fx over the hypotenuse which is what we have in here or f and if we cross multiply these two in here basically we have fx is equal to f times sine of 35 degrees but that's just the magnitude. If we look at the fx we'll see that uh, it acts along negative x-axis so here if we want to show our fx in a vector form it will be actually negative f 800 newtons times sine of 35 degrees and the unit vector for x would be i so our fx would be negative 800 times sine of 35 let's calculate that so 800 times sine of 35 that's going to be 458.86 newtons and the unit vector would be i so now let's find the fy for finding the fy since we are dealing with the adjacent of 35 degrees so it makes sense to go with the cosine of 35 degrees that's going to be fy over f and if we cross multiply again we're going to get our fy is equal to f times cosine of 35 degrees and looking at the fy we'll see that fy is actually acting along positive y-axis so our Fy would be positive 800 times cosine of 35 degrees and our unit vector would be J. So this time we have 800 cosine of 35 degrees which is going to be plus 655.32 newtons and J would be our unit vector and if we want to show the final answer for the f uh, we're gonna have this part for our x component minus 458.86 i plus 655.32 j and we just have to show our unit in here which is newtons and that's going to be the final answer for this question uh, one quick uh, shortcut after this, we're going to be dealing uh, with this force F later in this chapter. Uh, if we have the angle with the Y axis, the X component would be the sine of that and the Y component would be cosine. But if we have this angle as opposed to the other one, which would be basically 90 minus 35, we're going to have cosine of that angle for FX and sine of that angle for FY. So we need to keep this in mind as long as we have the angle of that force with x-axis, cosine of that angle would be the x component and sine of that angle would be y component, which we didn't decide to go with that. We went with the angle that we have with y-axis. That's why our x component is sine and y component is cosine. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.